Welcome to this video from OF Clutches. Today we're going to be talking to you about release bearings, our own designs, what we've done, what the standard ones do, and how we've improved them. So, firstly, I'd like to talk to you about the standard release bearing. This is what comes in our road spec clutch kit. It's the standard bearing as used on a Series 3, 200 TDI, 300 TDI, TD5, they're all the same. And yeah, FTC 5200. Black nylon bearing carrier, standard NSK bearing with a radius face. You can get these with a straight flanged face um, in aftermarket clutch kits, but they're not very good. So we use this design, the early design. Very basic, very crude. Given a two year warranty by us, we've never had one fail. Seem to be pretty reliable. Yeah, so that's the standard one. And then we bring out the daddy, which is our own design of release bearing. This one we've been selling for probably four years now. And yeah, it's just awesome. So we'll describe a bit about it. Firstly, the carrier. The carrier is made from stainless steel. The reason we chose stainless steel is because it dissipates the heat. So the idea is to get the heat away from the bearing to maintain the bearing life and extend the bearing life. Inside the bearing carrier, there's two O-ring grooves which accept the black nitrile O-rings. Now, the idea behind this is to keep it central on the guide tube and also to act almost like a journal bearing to hold grease between the two o-rings and it also prevents the bearing from rattling you'll find some of the cheaper aluminium bearing carriers tend to rattle whereas ours is deadly quiet which is an all-round good design the bearing itself we used to use an rhp bearing which was an english brand but we were selling that many of them that we actually consumed all their stock so we went and made our own we spent a lot of money and time on this to make sure that we but we could get the best release bearing possible and yeah as you can see size wise it's massive compared to the standard bearing it's got a much larger load rating and we give the bearing a lifetime warranty so they're the two main differences obviously our wire retaining clips, as can be seen in other videos, fit on both of the bearings. So they can be fitted both onto the plastic release bearing, like so, and onto the metal one. This bearing comes in the power spec and the extreme spec clutch kits. This one comes in the road spec clutch kits. Thanks for watching this video from LOF Clutches. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned a bit about our release bearings. If you need any more information, feel free to check out our website, lofclutches.com. Like, comment and subscribe and all that jazz for more videos.